Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to simulate a one-way bearing or clutch bearing using SolidWorks. Here, as you can see, I have the, uh, made a simple model, bearing model, consists of outer ring and inner ring. Basically, I have put a hole, a hole at each part so that uh, we can see clearly the rotation motion when we do the motion study analysis later on what i'm going to do is try to rotate the outer ring as the input uh, in one direction, in this case, is the um, anti-clockwise direction, which have the cause free rotation of the bearing. So the inner ring, which is the output, doesn't rotate. But when the outer ring rotates, States, uh, clockwise the inner ring will also rotate in a clockwise direction as well as having the same velocity angular velocity magnitude as the outer ring okay then I'm going to make this bearing with the plane and the assembly sketch that I have made. I will suppress this. Then I'm start I'm going to make click mate. Oh by the way uh you need to make sure that each of your bearing part or component is in a floating mode. So click mate and uh, make inner ring with front plane. Make sure it's coincident. Click OK. Outer ring with front plane. Make sure coincident. Click OK. Uh, inner ring. So click edge to be concentric with the assembly sketch. Okay, concentric. Click OK. And then um, outer ring patch edge to be concentric with uh, sketch or inner ring edge. So I will make it to be concentric with the inner ring edge. Okay, click OK. Finish. So we are done with the mating. And I will hide the plane. And then hide the assembly sketch. Then you go to the motion study analysis, choose uh, motion analysis. So for the input rotation, I will choose the motor. So choose the rotary motor component to be the outer ring and motion to be oscillating. In this case, I will. I want the input to have a oscillating motion every one hundred and eighty degree for at zero point three hertz. Click OK. Then I'm going to make a angular velocity sensor for the outering. So click here, results and plots. Click 
uh, choose displacement velocity acceleration then choose uh, angular velocity so choose component z component in my case the bearing will rotate along the z axis choose the component where the sensor is so input outer ring so click ok and then I'm going to simulate for in this video for 22 seconds okay just drag and extend the duration for the output inner ring I will put a second motor which uh, rotary motor so component direction is uh, inner ring and the motion I want this rotation to be dependent with the input so as a function of input I will choose expression so the value is the angular velocity so rotation of the output in a ring so I choose velocity and then this one uh, you can put any expression uh, in your whatever mathematical expression for your function that you are trying to simulate in this uh, function builder window so in this case uh, I'm going to put the if function so you can see that you can choose from the mathematical, fu mathematical function the if function so basically if a b c d a is the parameter which is the uh, angular velocity input angular velocity b is the uh, output when a is less than zero c is the output when a equals to zero and d is the output when a is greater than zero so if angular velocity in z direction input as the parameter so when the rotation of the input is less than zero which is the clockwise direction so using your right hand rule so minus so the rotation will have the same direction as the rotation of the output inner ring will have the same rotation and magnitude as the input angular velocity and the rest is zero zero so the inner ring doesn't rotate I will put the expression copy and then put here this function builder so here I will select this uh, motion study result basically this is the sensor that we have created earlier so angular velocity of the input outer ring so I choose here and then also rotate as angular velocity when the input rotates clockwise direction and the rest is zero zero okay and click ok I will 
make a second sensor just to check the angular velocity of the output ring output inner ring so it is uh, velocity angular velocity z direction and then this one is the uh, inner ring and then click ok okay so we are done then we can now simulate the one way bearing uh, okay try make normal thing let's see okay okay seem that it works fine so as you can see here when the rotation is anti-clockwise the inner ring doesn't rotate so okay when the rotation is clockwise the rotation of the inner ring also clockwise so here are the plots so plot one is the input plot two is the output inner uh, outer ring and plot 2 is the inner ring so when the rotation is in the anti-clockwise direction so the output is zero clockwise rotation same magnitude oops same magnitude zero same so basically this proves that the rotation is correct that's what we try to simulate again I'll try to simulate here so free lock free rotation lock free rotation lock because of the expression of the out in output depends on the input when we change the input for example i try to make like 90 degree the output also will change so 90 will half of the 180 so free rotate free rotate Okay. So I hope this helps uh, with your simulation of the one way bearing or clutch bearing. If you have any comment or suggestion, let me know in the comment section below. If there are any better ways or sim more simpler way to simulate one way bearing so that's all from me thank you very much